So I found myself, as I often do, in a classic game shop, searching through their stock, checking to see if anything worthwhile had shown up since my last visit. And since I didn't have $450 to purchase a boxed copy of Pokemon Crystal, I had given up. But since it's an hour and a half round trip for me to get here, and since I'm an insecure male who drives a car that gets 16 miles per gallon, I wasn't gonna leave here empty handed. So I see this game on the shelf, and it may or may not have had something to do with the fact that this game was $5, but I decided to grab it and bring it home. Now this ain't the first Madden NFL game, but it's right about the time when e in the game. Started getting into the habit of doing their soulless sports franchises. Y'all know what I'm talking about, how every year EA has to fund more disasters by raking in profits on underserved sports fans, by shitting out a double glazed version of last year's leftovers. Well, what would happen if we went real far back? Would it feel like something entirely different from its modern descendants? Oh my god, this game gets me angry. <laughs> But there is a strange aroma to this steaming pile of pixels. Now, before I start shitting all over this game, let me give it a fair shake. You load in and fucking Mr. Madden is like, Hi everyone, welcome to John Madden Football. It's got this menu that's so damn simple and intuitive that even Cristiano Ronaldo could figure out how to pick the Cowboys. How am I still playing brand new games with menus that require a PhD to navigate when even EA's dumbass figured this out decades ago? Three menus in and I'm already in a match. It's that quick and simple to get into actually playing the game. Then you go, oh shit. Even with the extreme technical limitations this dev team was put under, they actually created something that you can tell is football. It's sick. They even got different cheerleading outfits for each of the 80 freaking teams. You kick the ball, and mid-game the camera goes. Simulated camera movement in 1994. I also picked up this NBA game from around the same time, and its camera got gorilla glued to the flat screen in the middle of the court. And meanwhile, I've got a camera that follows me up and down the field as my two pixel legs propel my guy to the end zone. True to the man's name, the dynamic commentary actually holds up and can teach modern EA games a lesson. These technical achievements deserve all the praise I can give them. In an age where most games just had people moving left to right, this was a real game changer. Now that said, let's talk about the rest of the game. It's fucking garbage! Shit! Now, I'm not a big sports game guy. These were the games my dad would kick my ass in growing up, so they didn't really stick with me as a fun pastime. But I did play a lot of American football growing up, and still watch the sport now, so I know how this game works. I got this. D did that guy just Madden Mobile truck stick me for a 91-yard return touchdown on the first play? I <laughs> okay, it's, it's gonna be one of those games. No difficulty settings besides hard. Got it. Yeah, the AI even does real strats like calling timeouts to keep the clock from running down, or taking a knee when it's winning and wants to end the game. Pretty freaking sweet but it doesn't take too long for the illusion to vanish. Shit tricks you into thinking this is like a real football game until you are rudely reminded it isn't. How did seven fucking blockers miss one goddamn dude? What are you guys doing? We didn't sign you to fucking spectate, you narwhals. This game takes itself so damn seriously, but it can't help but make me laugh. I'm just sitting here with this unchanged anti-screen peeking cheater play picker showing me the routes my receivers are gonna run, or the layout of my defense, and then the second you snap the ball the game just devolves into chaos. If these plays went on any longer than 10 seconds, I don't think the player AI could handle it. Routes become mere suggestions, linemen flip a coin each play to see whether or not they're gonna stop anyone from maiming your QB. You could run the same play ten times in a row and every player will fuck it up in some new and scuffed way. Defense actually works alright, but that's just cause the second two guys pixels meet you instantly tackle them unless you're spamming the spin move button. 
You run your offense to complement your team's strengths and avoid certain plays, like never using the Patriot shit running back literally ever. And then you snap the ball and oh, oh, what's this? I'm trying to pass to my guy on this A hook route like the anti-screen peeking player picker thing told me, but when I click A, it doesn't work. My guy just spins and Y makes him flop over. So I'm already down half my button. So you click X and the play ends, not because the button you pressed did anything, but because you just got sacked for a 19 yard loss because no one freaking blocked any money uh alrighty new play <laughs> hit the bumpers n nothing doesn't switch my throwing mode oh, oh, oh wait it just switched and sacked what caused that? I don't know. I have no way of replicating that result. It just happens when Troy Ackman fucking feels like it. So now I'm down to only being able to throw to the B route guy and sacrificing two sheep to Poseidon in hopes that my running back can make it 10 yards with no freaking blockers! Running through a line of defenders thicker than Aunt Jemima's syrup, but we ain't got no pancakes for this duet because they're all fucking watching clouds form in the middle of the play! It's still fun to play with a friend, but that's only because they have to also wrangle out these alien controls, so at least it's better than having the AI get this big leg up on you. I'ma just be honest with you guys, jokes aside, this game is a grim reminder of the longevity of sports games. How nearly 30 years later and there is just nothing to be gained by playing this relic. Makes you wonder how our modern sports games will be viewed 30 years from now. You can make the point that this is a seriously old game working with some serious limitations, and we should just be impressed with what was achieved by this title. But even though it was a technically far less impressive title, that NBA game I showed you earlier was actually fun to play. It felt like a real game I could legitimately enjoy for an hour or two because the devs clearly spent more time worrying about how their game played rather than getting every team their own unique cheerleading outfits for the pause menu! Hey, thanks for playing. This is John Madden saying goodbye.